<laughs> I don't see only me and you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Okay, let's wait a few minutes for the rest of the people. Teacher, I help in the platform. Uh, which exercise? In the exercise, yes. Uh, two, two, one, two period one and two period two, I remember. Mm, I guess it's the 2.2, 2, right? 2.2? 2. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh, that, two two point one and two point point two. Uh well, the two point one is a video. It's not an exercise, so it should be this one. Uh, this one number four is an error. You are not going to have it's that. An one. error. Yeah. Yes, I remember you. Uh -huh. and, and this, I mean, yeah, it's correct. I mean, you have to write. I want to make you your bed, for example, right? I remember I write in his bar. Something is co incorrect in the way that you are putting that. I remember that you have to put a period. If you don't set the period, mm -hmm. it's going to be incorrect. Okay. And on the other one, Jimmy. I that is very important. Yeah. Jimmy. And on all the exercises, you need to uh, put the period. And this one is a question mark because it's a question, right? For the rest, if you don't put the period, it's not going to be correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see there that the period is very, very important. And sometimes also, for example, in the number four, uh, the verb is mm -hmm. going to be uh, in pass, the police officer in, in pass, in force. Uh -huh. So those things are very important. Oh, oh, there is. Oh. And, and how can you how can you uh, identify that you need to put a verb in in pass? Uh, depending pass. depending on the context of the sentence. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that would be it. I mean, my car immediately. The only one that is not correct is this one. I mean, this one, it doesn't matter which one. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter which one do you take, it's always going to be incorrect. So I report that already and we just need to wait. Okay, teacher, I try in this night. Okay, very good. And uh, this is the class of tonight. Okay. So. Let's see how it goes. And before we move on, we're okay. going to check about the attendance. Let's see how it goes. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Good evening. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present, dicho. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. 
present. Perfect. Very good. Welcome to the class. Today is Wednesday already. Nice. That is very good. Teacher, uh, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Let me just check into that one. Good. Thanks. I am Anna Salmon. Okay. Okay. Very Thank good. You care. Good evening. Good evening. Perfect. Nice to see you once again. Uh, so we are going to start uh, with a little video. Okay. So let's see how it goes. As um, as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to check the video and then comment. Okay, comment and uh, provide opinion or what did you understand about the video. So let's see how it goes. Visit our website startupstories.in for more inspirational stories and updates from the startup world. In life, the number one thing that people screw up on is this. They buy stuff they don't need. It's that simple. Go look at your closet sometime. 80% of the crap at the bottom of your closet are clothes you don't wear anymore and yet you paid for them because you thought you needed them and you wanted them. Imagine if you could turn all that stuff back to cash or better still you never bought it. That cash would be in the bank right now making interest for you or an investment that pays interest or a dividend. But no, it's sitting at the bottom of the closet. Dead money. That's what that is. That's a huge problem. So think about this. Let's say you actually owe 200 bucks on your credit card and you're passing a hot little coffee spot and you're thinking about getting a cappuccino for $2.30. Don't do it. Pay off the 200 bucks first. Don't spend money on stuff you can't afford. It costs 15 cents to make coffee. You're paying somebody $2.30. The rest of that could have been used to reduce your debt. That's the whole deal. Don't buy stuff you don't need. Make sure you go through every single month in a way that you respect money, that you somehow pay back. You look at the world around you, where ideas were born, where individuals started in garages. Where did Microsoft, where did Apple, where did Amazon, where did Google, where did Facebook come from? They came from ideas that people felt something could be done and that they could make a difference. So as you go out into this world, I would hope that you look at being ethical and holding the value systems which you want this country to have. If you think you cannot make a difference, I'd say you very well can make a difference if you so desire. If you speak or sit next to a Nobel laureate, he never tells you that he won a Nobel Prize. Other people tell you. So let humility be your best defense. And I would say that you always need to take a view that, and you shouldn't merely consider yourself successful based on the prosperity you gain for yourself, but you should go home at night feeling satisfied if you have made a difference. That difference is something each one of us can make. We'll have failures and we've had frustrations but it's a continued commitment that we have to the world around us. You know, working the real world, I would say, you know, it is important to be well-rounded. It's important to, uh, you know, try different things, I, I, you know, take some risks. And, you know, and you want to aim high enough that you fail, uh, you know, a few times. I think that's the natural part of the process. If you work on really difficult things, you're better off because you have no competition. Others aren't working on uh, yeah. that difficult a problem. And even if you fail, you end up doing something great in the sure. process. My advice to the young people, any mistake is a wonderful revenue for you. So I tell myself and told my young people, before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to a small company, you learn the passion, you learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one, one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go, it's which boss you follow.
is very important. A good boss teaches you differently. From 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly when you're working for yourself if you really want to be an entrepreneur. When you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to drop into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the, the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about it. how can you focus on things that you are good at. But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. I've told a lot of people, it doesn't matter how many times you fail, if, if you get it right, you're an overnight success. All you gotta do is get it right one time. I mean, the thing about being an entrepreneur is, there's, it's just all to you. You know, a lot of people like to make excuses, I don't have connections, I don't have money, I don't have this, but, you know, if, if you find something that you like to do or love to do, be great at it and see if you can turn it into a business. And worst case, you're gonna have fun doing what it is you love to do. And best case, you can turn it into a business. I, I'm just not big on excuses. I just think if you really, you, everybody has that opportunity to go for it, they just gotta do it. You know, I sold powder milk and that was a disaster. I had a, my senior year project in Indiana was opening up a bar that got closed because of a wet t-shirt contest with a 16 year old. That was a disaster, that was good because it kept me out of the bar business. Um, I got fired from my first job in the software business because I wanted to close the deal instead of going out and closing the sale. I mean, instead of coming in and sweeping the floor, you know, it didn't matter how many times I failed. I just kept on going and going and going. And entrepreneurs need to realize that sometimes it's not the idea, you know, it's not being, it's not who you know, it's not how much money you have access to. It, it's really finding something that you, you really love to do. I had no idea I loved computers and technology, none. I mean, I took one class in Indiana in computers, and I cheated to get through it. It was Fortran, and then I bought a, a little PC in 99 4A from Texas Instruments for $99. Started teaching myself to program, and found, you know, four hours later, five hours later, I was I would look up, and I'd been working this entire time, and I loved it. And so that was the difference. When I finally, I failed a lot of times, and I really, I, I didn't know where I'd find my success. And then all of a sudden I started playing with PCs and technology and it just clicked. Okay, what did we get from the video? Oh, very interesting advices how to be how to become successful in life. And the first one I love it, don't buy. I think that you don't need, you know, do you, uh, uh, you need to be awareness that if, what are you do, what are you going to do with your money? Money is a very important uh, thing in life. And, but uh, when you start working and you start gaining money, then you think that your money is to buy everything you want or that every everything you have uh, you have dreamed to to uh, to acquire but uh, the the person in the video uh, has has given us a, a very nice advice how to start uh, uh, how to start a, a spare money to our yeah, to save money. To save money, how to save money? Starting with little details like an, a, a coffee, a like Starbucks coffee, or a simple coffee that you can make for uh, 20 cents. And another one I, I love was the from this Ashan, famous Ashan, a businessman, that it is important that you uh, also uh, be awareness. Uh, what can you do at age different age stages? You know, and I love that uh, he say that between forty to fifty, you don't need to start something super new or like invent someone. Better that you focus and what you are very good at. And then it was really really good. And the another one was really interesting also about humility how to conduct yourself 
through uh, failure or success with humility, you are going to learn a lot with this attitude. And do not have, a, you know, a, a, we have a, we have already spoken about it. The Latino, the Latinos, especially Latinos, are afraid to failure. And all these men has shown us that failure is very important to achieve what you really know, uh, want to do, and what you really aim in life. And because through failure, you can learn a lot. And it is only a question that you give the right value to your failure and recognize what these failure are giving us some up to you. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, very interesting, very complete. So uh, yes, it's very interesting that uh, they say some things in common and some things that are different, right? So very good. Uh, any other comments or opinion? I tried uh, in a video, see what do we do respect our ages? Uh, for example, uh, 30, 30 or 40 and, and 40 and 50 years old. Uh, what do we do respect our ages? Uh, for example, in professional, in, in professional area, in personal area. And in other person, um, explain a difference, uh, for example, uh, the people live, I, I understand, uh, live in garage. In 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 the big the big companies were were uh were help or where where the don't they stand where where they are where they they are where they are where they are. In in the different uh, people live in garage in in big company. Um, is is more different. And I remember other other video. Um, only that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, most of the companies uh, that they are very big nowadays. I mean, they start very small, right? They start sometimes in a little house in the garage. I mean, and that happens. I mean, uh, and they are very big because they continue. They try. They fail, but they try once and again. And then, of course, if you continue trying, you are going to be successful. Good. Any other comment? Yes, teacher, that the experience of the other people uh, is very value, value because um, they, now they are very successful entrepreneurs, but uh, when they began their business. They had a lot of uh, difficult. Uh, they took a risk. Um, it is common, is similar for the for the other business, but the difference is um, they they learned about the experiences, the experiences. And in the first, um, in the first businessman, uh, 
he said, uh, the problem is because you, you buy a lot of things that you don't need. It's true, teacher. The consumes is, is incredible. How, how uh, it includes, I include in, in that, that segment, mm -hmm. the, a lot of stuff, stuff teacher. Yeah. I like it because now it is easier to access to the market for the uh, internet for because the delivery process now is easier. This is my opinion, teacher. Very good, thank you very much. And yes, you are right. I mean, I believe that that piece of advice as you and my bit said uh, is very important. I mean, that happens to all, to everybody. You see something, uh, it's, it's very funny because uh, there are some memes about that one that you go to, for example, you go to Dollar City to buy one thing, but you buy five, yeah, teacher, six, seven, 40, things. 50, 60 dollars. It's, it's smart Porsches. Smart Porsches. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff, teacher. Nothing. Stuff. <laughs> and the funny thing is that many of those stuff, you don't need them, right? So it's, it's there and it's like, you say this is beautiful, this is nice, but you don't need that one. So you're buying. Uh, I mean, uh, that that happens uh, here in El Salvador. That happens to everybody, I guess. And yeah, sometimes it's difficult to to stop doing that one, but it's something that we need to realize, right? If you have already something that you need, I mean, are you really going to go for that one? So that is the thing. Any other comments or opinion? Me, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. It's very interesting to listen to other people's success stories because it's inspiring to believe in ourselves and set goals and try to achieve them and seek self as well. Try always. Very good. So, yeah, I believe that is one of the most important things. And actually, that is very common in, in all the videos, right? They say yeah. you are going to fail. Uh, you are going to um, me do mistakes. I mean, that is common. And that is yeah. uh, actually, that is true in all the successful stories. I remember that someday I was checking about the, the life of Michael Jordan, you know, who is the best NBA player of the history. And he said that he, when he was a kid, um, he wanted to be in the team. Uh, and the teacher says, no, you're not that good. You cannot. So after school, after dinner, all every night, every single night, he was playing. He was practicing. And I mean, he practiced that much that he became the most successful NBA player of, in history. So, yeah, you're going to fail. But yes, you have to keep on trying. Okay. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Any other uh, comments about the video? In a few words, that I understand is uh, every every one of the speakers. Uh, the main message was, uh, "Don't. Uh, it doesn't matter if we fail." Someone mentioned any mistake is a revenue, and it's true. If I fail, it's a new opportunity to do the things better. Uh, and the last person, uh, if you, he said, if you, if you have something that you love, in my way, in my words, uh, if you have something that you love, go ahead and make your ideas a reality. Doesn't matter if you fail. All the person, all the people here, I mentioned if you fail, go ahead. Uh, it's part of the of the the life. Can can I say? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I write all the all the messaging. 
all the all the people mention if you fail grading and it's true mm -hmm. uh, imagine if we we are here studying english maybe in a moment we fail i fail because i start many years ago and i never finish and i don't give up i say this this year is my year and i continue uh, fail is part of the human being and uh, the important is don't don't give up very good perfect thank you rose so that is the truth i believe that that uh, actually that is the that in about not spending money uh that you and things that you don't need is one of the most important things because i mean not only about businesses it's as you say about life as well so yeah sometimes it's, it's so difficult for for us like a woman because you watch you see a, a nice dress or a nice shoes or a nice bag and i like it i i want it <laughs> and but sometimes uh, we need to we need to think i i really i really need it because uh, if you be uh, compulsiva how do you say compulsiva compulsive okay imagine and being compulsive is not good sometimes uh, we buy things that we don't need because uh, maybe we feel good but um, we we have to think we have to think twice <laughs> that is so true uh, yeah we need to analyze things right so sometimes the problem is that sometimes we live the way that we believe that is the correct one but if you stop and analyze and you think of all the things that you have in your house that is not necessary um yeah i mean sometimes it's good to have flowers or some little things but not that much not that many so a balance i believe is a very very important thing that we need and uh, yeah this applies not only for business i mean to run a business in el salvador is very difficult Uh, you need time, you need a lot of money, you need many things. Maybe that is not possible, but thinking about your life, thinking about what you want to achieve, how you want to be, or how you want to be in 10 years, for example. Uh, yeah, you need to analyze where you want to go, what you want to be, and start planning about that one, right? So that is a very important thing. Very good, perfect, nice, nice, I liked it. So we're going to continue with the topic that we started yesterday uh, about how to create, uh, how to run a business, right? So we're talking about a little bit about entrepreneurship and also about how to run a business. And we are going to continue with number five. That is actually that uh, something Anasalmi brought to to the analysis uh, yesterday. So Anasalmi, could you please read this? Yes, teacher. Write up a business plan. Another essential step when starting a business is to coming up with an organized plan. At its core, a business plan is a document that serves as a road map for how to structure, operate, and manage your new venture. It also helps attract potential partners, invest, in, investors, and banks. Unless you break down the cost to start a business. Using a business plan template is an effective way to organize and streamline your ideas on paper. Here are some exceptional components to include. Executive summary. This is a high level view of your business proposal or concept. If you were to give a professional elevator pitch, explaining your business in about a minute, you'd be reciting, reciting. Reciting, yeah signing this bit aloud. Mission statement. This is a brief description 
of your company purpose, including its core values, goals, and warranty to clients to provide quality business overall. It's important to note that an, an, an effective mission a statement should differentiate your company from your competitors. Just take a look at this fa famous mission statement examples in which the potency of each one is due its ability to stand out against the rest. Okay, and we're not gonna check that one, but uh, that, that is it, okay, very good. And let me see, yeah, let's read this one, please. Industry analysis. This section consists of research about your industry, such as a small business trends and growth. When writing this section, this section, think about how large your industry is and how it is expected to evolve. You should also consider who your competitors are and may not or their strengths and weaknesses. Customer analysis. analysis. Next, focus on your target audience and ask yourself how you plan to reach them. Clearly, stated needs of your customers and specific how your product or service will meet them. F financial projections. This portion of your business plan will track how much money is coming in and out down the road. Investor want to see hard numbers to justify the, the risk include a sell forecast based on industry or market trends, expenses, sunk cost, and estimated cash flow derived from your sell forecast and expenses and expected profits and losses. Up with an action plan. If you have a team, write down how each member will contribute to achieving your company smart goals and objectives. Answer question like Is there a timeline? And what are the milestones you wish to accomplish for both? Think in terms of years and quarters. Perfect. That was a lot, but I'm very sure that you are going to do a very nice summary. Very interesting, the structure teacher of the business plan. The first part is very important to, to write the business plan. The executive summary because the whole idea for the business is necessary to, to formalize a, in, in a document. Uh, the summary is very important. The, the, the a small structure, but point, key point about the, how, is, how is your idea how what is the, the the how how your business um will work okay. or will work we work, will yeah. work yeah and the mission statement um is very important because uh, yesterday we we said is very important to when you have a, in the future vision about your business, when you write your mission, it related to the how you imagine your projections 
in, in your business. The mission statement is related to my company, uh, but but the the in my opinion is very important to establish a mission for okay. the company. Very good. Yes. And the analysis industry, the other key point, because uh, if you don't know how is your market uh, related to the, 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 your product or your service, it's impossible uh, to complete this at the level of satisfaction for the the potential customer it's, it's very important that they get information related to the market good good okay it's, uh, get the information and anal analyzes that information and the other part teacher is reality is a reality all business needs money. All business. And it's very important to do um, realistic, a realistic a forecast or budget. Um, mainly in the, the beginning investment, teacher. El inversión inicial. Initial, initial investment. In, initial investment is very, very important because the majority um, business broke is because um, lack, lack uh, money. The problem for the liquidity. 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 Okay. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Anastasia. Uh, yes, you, you are very right. This is one of the most important things that uh, any business uh, has to do. I mean, it doesn't matter if you uh, if you are going to start. Uh, it's very hard when you're going to start because all those are projections, right? And uh, well, you don't have a comparative or, or anything. But even if you have a business already, you need to continue creating this one so you can analyze what is going to happen in the future. And you say something very, very important that happens. I mean, even with people that they actually do a business plan, um, realistic, right? So when you are going to run a business, we are very optimistic. We believe that we're going to do a lot of money and that people are going to come to our door and uh, ask for our products like, like crazy. Um, but I mean, we really need to be realistic. So we need to check and analyze all the risks about this one. So this is a very important thing. And good thing about this website, I'm going to send you to uh, to tomorrow. Uh, here you can download a template. So if you want to start something, you just need to go into that one. Good. Perfect. Number six says build a pitch deck. Uh, Carla Vasquez, could you please help me on this one? Okay, let me see. A pitch desk is a brief presentation that helps potential investors learn more about your business and they what, why, and how that that it entails. Mm -hmm. This is an important strategy to adapt for anyone starting a business since on a uh, barrage. Investors spend three minutes and 44 seconds on any pitch desk they receive according to Sarah um, fundraising research. And a best pra practice for nailing your is to create com compelling content 
both written and visual, so every bit of information is clear and strive for forward to follow, optimize your pitch, pitch decks. Okay. Teacher, uh -huh. what is pitch decks? <laughs> okay, actually, we're going to check uh, vocabulary. There are a few interesting words here, so we can check into that one. Uh, in general, what did you understand? Um, uh, it's very important the, the, the potential invest, investor learn more about the about the business. And I think that 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 who who want to invest in a business is very important to know the potential that this this business to run in general. Very well. So this is something actually something very important. Um, I don't know in business or in some reality shows. That happens. I mean, there is a pitch deck. So you are going to speak about your idea or you, how, how everything is going to be done. And if the other people, they don't get engaged, they don't believe in your idea in a few minutes, that's it. Right? That is the end of the whole idea. Even if your life is into that one. So this is that. So you mm -hmm. need to build a pitch deck. So imagine that this says that uh, investors spend Three minutes and 44 seconds only in this pitch. So you have to convince other people in three or four minutes. It, it, it's, a similar, it's a similar to launch. A difference is a platform. Uh, well, no, this is about uh, what you are going to say to convince investors. Mm. Okay. So that will be it. Okay. And it is in Eric, I I know also uh, the, the phrases pitch elevator when you sell yourself. That is it. And then in, in two or three minutes you you have to convince another people who you are, how you are put for. Or add to yes. Uh, it's like it's like persuade. I had persuade, to persuade. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, persuade. Yeah. Yeah, when, when, uh -huh. when a project is very inter interesting in the first second, uh, you put all attention in in the description of or objective that their business. That is true. I mean, uh, the first impression it matters, right? So uh, the way that you are going to speak, how you are going to present, and in mind, in mind, in, even if you have an idea that is a millionaire idea or everything is going to be done very carefully in the business plan. If you don't explain that very well, that's it, right? Uh, people, I mean, you don't have to spend one hour speaking about the idea. In the first four minutes, somebody knows that they are going to invest money in you or not. That is it. Yeah. Even if you speak a lot, that is it, right? Good, let's check some vocabulary. Here are some words that we would like to check. What is brief? Short. Short. Concrete. Summary, teacher. Very good. Summary. Nice. The other one is entails. What is entails? Entails. Okay, that is to impose. To 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 be uh, what is include aligned coherency. Coherency. Very good. Something like that. What is implied? What is going to be like uh, linked to that one? Very good. Uh, let's see what else. Average. What is an average? Average. Promedio. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is it actually. Yeah, that is the word. Uh, and pitch deck, we checked that already. Uh, nailing, what is nail? 
nail it, they say sometimes. I don't know if you have ever heard that phrase. Hey, nail it, man. We nail it. So what is nailing? It's like to define. Mm, something like actually to succeed, to achieve. To succeed, something. to mm -hmm. achieve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, compelling. What is compelling? Bring together a lot of pieces. Okay, very good. So that that is yeah to to bring everything that you need, right? Uh, what is a bit? A little bit, we say. So every bit of information, piece, every piece. A piece. Every piece, small. small. Uh, this is a Something good one. Small. A small, very good, nice. A small, a little, a little. A little bit, we say. A few. Good. I don't know. <laughs> good. Uh, this is a good one. Straightforward. Straightforward. Either it's clear and straightforward to follow. Straightforward, concrete, direct. Very good, direct. Straight to direct, the point. direct. Very good. Good the point. So there are some tips here that we're gonna read. Let's see. Uh, hey, Maybe could you please help me reading these four things? Okay, sure. Uh, show passion for your business. Start by telling an interesting story that shows your commitment to the cause prompted by your business idea. Then let them know how your passion has not only helped you come up with the idea, but what that when you put your heart into something, it will shine through. Resolve one problem. Explain how your product or service will close a gap or fix an issue in the current market. Convince prospective investors that your business will bring value to customers over time with the product's life cycle. Mm. Use data-driving content. This will help you establish credibility and will show that you are creating your product or service with a deep understanding of your market needs. Be consistent with font size color and layout. Your slides should look professional, reflect your corporate identity and be thought fully planned out. Good, what do you get from this part? Um, I mean, there are some, some advice about uh, your pitch deck uh, must be at first, uh, all your business model, your business concept must be uh, sufficient that I can read the passion, the passion that you have put in your business uh, with elements like a story that show your commitment and uh, and cause uh, how my business, uh, uh, the origin of, my, of the business. And it's very important to let people know what is the passion and commitment uh, uh, with him. Ah, we have learned yesterday with him the business model. Uh, it is very important that we come straight forward with uh, the answer of which necessity, which need are we resolving with our service or product? You know, and it is what is mean. Uh, we, uh, that our product or service will close a gap or fix an issue in the current market. You know, but because you you must you must uh, convince the people, convince the investor, convince convince the audience that your product or service is going to catch the need of the target group. Okay, so that is okay. it. I mean. It's yes. about the pitch, the one that we were speaking about. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to have four minutes for you to explain, convince people. So you need to be straightforward and speak about certain things. For example, 
how uh, how passionate are are you about your business, right? Because if yes. you put the heart into the business, uh, they will believe the yes, what the idea that you want. Uh, resolve one problem. Definitely, the product or service has to solve a necessity for uh, the market people, right? Uh, use uh, data-driven content is also very important because you can uh, you research and put some data together, right? The percentages yes. of how is the market behavior, things like that. And be consistent. That is also very, very important, oh, right? Because you will have just a few minutes and you cannot stay that long. In Good. general, teacher, mm -hmm. it is true that you need a few minutes for connect with a person, connect idea, connect the in this in, in this case the uh, project of the business. But in general, is only a few minutes. You need to to the effective communication, no? When when the the there there is a good structure for your conversation. It's very, how do you say? You receive a lot of information in few minutes. Yes. Yeah, that is actually the most important part that you are going to present and you are going to put everything that you want to say just in a few words. And if you do a very good job, people that will say, oh, this is good, right? Let's do it. I mean, as I was telling you, maybe the idea is good. Maybe the research that you have done is nice. Maybe the business plan is very good. But you need to be able to explain that. Just to explain that. that. And to sell it. And you know, when you are uh, bringing the first time your pitch deck, it is true that you, you will not have a second opportunity to convince people. And you need to catch them, their attention, in the first opportunity. That is so true. You that I mean, there are no second chances here, right? Yes, now. by this way, by in this thing, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. I mean, you need to do your best on this. Very good, perfect. So the next one says choose a legal structure. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, Patricia. Wow. I feel um. good. A legal structure. It's time to talk about which legal structure is best to, to your business. So, yet in geographic location, a great place to start is by reviewing the option via the US My Business Administration business structure breakdown. If you're in European, Europe, European Union, you should read about setting up a Europe company. Okay. Uh, the most common types of business in both the US and abroad include salt, Proprietorships this refers to a business owned by one individual who assumes all of its legal responsibilities. Partnership, the formal agreement between two or more partners who work together toward a common goal, corporation, and Organization legally considered to act is a single entity. Some examples include Amazon, Apple, and IBM. Note that there is there, there are different types of, of corporation with varying varying legal varying legal implications include. C corps, S corps, B corps, close corporation and cooperative, and lim limited loyalty loyalty company, loyalty company. 
and hybrid between and corporation in partnership is the type of business. Owners have a limit, limited liability, but are also passed entities like partnership. Okay, very good. What did you understand on this one? No, teacher. Not at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So when you create a business, you need to, I mean, there are many options that you have regarding the legal structure, meaning that the type of business that you are going to run. The most common, uh, of course, is sole proprietorship. That is very common here in El Salvador uh, or the partnership, right? So proprietorship means that one person is the owner. That is it. And partnership, yeah, you have different people that are the owner. On mm -hmm. the other hand, we have corporations, right? That are like uh, a conglomerate of businesses together. Uh, the next one is one of my favorite, limited liability company. Because if you have a limited liability company, in case the business goes to bankruptcy, for example, uh, you need to, how can I say, you are going to respond to those liabilities only with the business assets. But if you do it other way, uh, I mean, they can take your house, your car, all your things. So this is, uh, that's why this part is very important. Because depending El, on... The, uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. In El Salvador, in El Salvador is similar of limited responsibility company. Yes, yes. Sociedad. Cooperatives. Yeah. Something like that. So uh, that's why this part is important, right? Because depending on the type of company, the legal entity that you are going to run, uh, that is going to be your responsibility. That is going to mm -hmm. be the way that you are going to uh, give the profits to the people. I mean, all these things are very, very important. Good. Let's check some vocabulary in this. Let's see. There were not that many, but we can check some of them. Uh, breakdown. What is breakdown? Breakdown. I know what breakdown means, but in this case, a business a structure, uh, a great place to start a business structure breakdown. I, I do not understand what here in this context means. Yeah, it's like, breakdown is, is, is to break. Yeah, it's, it's something like that one here as well. I mean, it's like in different parts, right? What are going to be the parts that you are going to put together so you can be, build a business? Oh. Okay, let's see. Breakdown. What is to assume? Uh, take the responsibility. Assume. It could be something like that one, yeah, in this case. That is it. Very good. Of uh, its legal responsibility. Uh, what is toward? Uh, uh, work together toward. In context, in function, uh, to together toward, aligned to mm. align to a common goal. In the in direction of a common goal. Uh, that is it. In direction to. Uh -huh. So direction this is to. Uh, this is a preposition. You know, in English we have a lot of prepositions. Um, yes, I know that we have checked on, at, and in, but there are a lot. Into is not the, is not the same than onto, for example. So yes. into, so if, if we speak about those three examples, into is when you are moving into something, but that has walls, that has like a 3D uh, a structure. Onto is when you are moving into a place that it doesn't have a structure. For example, when you are going to go and play soccer, you go onto the soccer field, not Ah, oh, okay. And toward is also a preposition that uh, it reflects that one, that you are moving uh, through a direction. Uh, you are aiming a point, so you are going toward aiming that. Aiming a point. That would be it. Uh, okay. Let's see. What is single? Uh, 
know? One. One, yeah, very good. Nice. Individual. Entity. Individual. Good. Same. What is something that is hybrid? Compound, but, oh, but two combination, two kind of things together. Okay. Two kind of model in this case is a uh, two model comes together and we can make one of two models. Very good. Like Corporation car. and, and partnership. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Mariana, you were saying? Uh, it is saying the cars. The cars are EV cars. Yeah. To come electrical, electrical, electrical or gas. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Uh, what is a liability? Limited. Uh, limited, limited liability. No, no, no. Limited liability. Okay, a liability is, is obligation obligation for pay teacher. Very good. That is it. So when you have a business, you have obligations. Uh, right? Obligations. So you need to pay yes. for some things. Sometimes before, sometimes after the business uh, cycle operation. So that would be responsibilities. Responsibilities. Okay. So very good. Let's check the number eight. Uh, secure capital and funding. Silvia Suleima. Um, good, evening. good evening. Eight, secure capital and funding. At this point in the game, you should be talking more explicitly about business funding. You need both sufficient capital and Efficient. reliable, reliable. Cash, flow, cash flow to get your business off the ground. From up, up, uh, what is the pronunciation? App applying. Ah, from applying for for grants and loans to reaching out to an angel investor or setting up a fundraising com campaign. There are many different strategies here. Here are a few good ways to raise money. Applying for a small business grant. The biggest benefit of using grant money is that you won't have to pay it back. A good place to begin looking for grants and El, el, he, eligibility. Um, eligibility is on the government as SBA uh, SBA SBA grant program alternatively you can check out private institution that private. offer a small business grant, including FedEx, the Street Shares Veteran Award, and NAV's Grand Contest. Setting up a crowdfunding campaign, this is a fast and easy way to share your ideas on a wide scale. Get feedback and raise money at the same time. When choosing from one of the mini crowdfunding series. Sites. Uh, excuse me? A sites. Site. Consider the fees. Term and condition for each, as well as the kind of audience they typically draw. With the striping, in some case, investing your own money may outweigh the challenge of having to depend on outsiders to reduce your own cost and finance risk. Your your one to minimize external resource and cut back wherever possible. 
taking out a loan. A small business can apply to banks and other financial institutions for loans, but first you should know how you how much you need and how good. Oh. Reason for it. Using the financial projection of your business plan, you can estimate an amount and now the type of loan you need. Finding in angel, finding an, an angel investor. Open angel investor are funding from mutual contact and even family that say that are hundreds of other active high net worth individuals who sell startups with their personal money, particularly in their early stage. You can check out Angel List Golden Seals LLC, New York City, Investor Circle, San Francisco, or Dutch Coast Angels, Los Angeles. And uh, use some example of, in, of angels investing firm online. Okay, what did you understand on this? Um, in the last, uh, in the last paragraph, um, is about the uh, investiga investigation of the clients in the in the blacklist or I don't know okay yeah it's like ways for you to have money for your business right there are many ways mm, probably here in Salvador not that many but in general there are many ways so for example the first one is applying to small business grant a grant mm -hmm means something that you are going to get and you don't have to pay back. It's something that uh, some institutions does. I mean, for example, here in El Salvador, there are some institutions that if you're a woman and you, if you want to invest, if you want to create a business, they give you the money, right? So you can start your own business. So that would be it. The other one is a crowdfunding campaign. I mean, that means that you are going to do something for you to get money, right? Some uh, campaigns about anything. Uh, bootstrapping, that means that you are going to pay for your business. Mm, yeah, I mean, you are not going to owe with money. With your to, money. With your money, yeah. So you are not going to owe money to a bank, but of course you are going to be to start very small. Sometimes it's not possible. If you are going to invest your own money, you, it's not possible to do a big business, right? Uh and this is one of the most common, I guess, in El Salvador, it's the most common, taking out a loan. You go to the bank, you convince people about your project, and they give you the money, but you have to pay back that money. And finding an angel investor, uh, here in El Salvador, we don't have that many. Probably there are some of them, but you have to be friend of them or something like that one, right? Uh, in other countries, there are companies, actually, that they uh, do like that one, they act like that one. They tell you, we're gonna give you the money about your idea if your idea is good, and you're going to give us back a percentage of the profit. And that's it, you can do it that way. Okay. Let's see uh, some words, let's see. Uh, this one says explicitly. Uh, it's similar to Spanish, right? Uh, explicit. So very um, detailed or in, in detail something, right? In details, very clearly. Detail, uh, explicitly. What is cash flow? The money is money. It's money flow. Yeah. Very good. So this regarding uh, accounting is the way that the um you have the money, money come in yeah ready for you to use it right hey loans let me check what else We're in general the teacher cash flow is the movement movement yeah. 
the in and out cash. Very good. So cash that flow. is it. Perfect. That is it. All right. And this one, we know what is a grant. So let me check if there is any other. Um, <sighs> let me see. No, I don't see any of those. Uh, crowdfunding. What is a crowdfunding? Do you know? Yes, you you design a strategy to to catch money from you you bring into a a landing page, an idea, a project, and then you start to make a, to to market it, and then people uh, who is convinced about your idea then can uh, deposit money. That is and you do it just in sometimes you don't need to pay back, but you have to uh, report about the outcomes. Very good, very good. So that is it. Very important. You need to report on that one. So yeah. uh, we know that bootstrapping is about investing your own money. So let's check yes. about uh, okay, what is outweight? Increase. Okay. Uh, yes. I mean, actually, it says add weight is going to be decrease. Actually, it's going to decrease. add decrease. Yeah. Okay. Challenges because you are not going to depend on people from outside of the company. You decide, right? So that will okay. be easier in that way. But okay. Also, I mean, you need to be careful about the money that you spend. For example, this word is very important: cutback. What is cutback? To save everywhere, wherever possible is. Okay, to save. To save, yeah. to save or say, to, 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 to cut back costs. Uh -huh. Something you like minimize, that. You minimize, you minimize, minimize costs. Redu reduce. Reduce. Use. Yeah, to cut back is exactly that one. You minimize when you reduce something a spending of course uh, let's see what else we can find here uh, no more here and let's see uh, do you remember what is a startup okay yes yeah, so, uh-huh and and startups is an a small enterprise that's going to start. Exactly, it's a new company that is. It's a new company. That is. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else. And that's it. Very good. So let's go to number nine. Very good. Uh, let's see who's gonna ring right now. Walter. Okay, uh, check out your competitors. Competitors. Oh, yes. Competitors. Competitors. Yes. competitors. competitors. As you start the business, you also need to analyze it. Your competitor, comp competition, and conducting competitive results. And help you learn more about the market in food. You have how to reach the potential customer. Understand what other open and forest industrial trends. It will also help you a predict you or will perceive it. You will even make it improvement. For you all, and basically, most importantly, and you learn what other companies did try and which mistakes to avoid. Begin, begin with what analysis, which are and powerful. Weight measurement and 
evaluated your competitors and otherwise performance. To do this, create the table with four quadrants. When you, when you run, you are your competitors and estate and weaknesses, opportunities and threats. 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 A strategy. Identify five. Yes, Identify the areas where the business is going well. Then to to your competitors, competitors, and ask yourself, who can I do what they do? But better look at the factory they offer to help you understand what drives they customers to them. And use this as a aspiration to improve your home, your whole business strategies. The witnesses, be honest with yourself, and answer this question is a directly as you can. What the customer often may complain about or Dislike this will let you narrow in or one topic at the time as a possible to take something a past life that is growing within my company opportunities opportunity being about your business. Intent of the round consider a different way to start into new space like running, seasonal, event, green, inabilities, inabilities, initiatives, and testing our friends. friends be conscious of any external factor that can affect the business in a negative way. It can run from market and frictions to customers who no longer express interest in your offering. Okay, what did you understand on this? Well, is a uh, computer and the and the hit ball the the whole lead the companies and the shape our other other companies and when they work in a different the the strategies the the competition uh industry uh offer the different cost a cost low uh, uh, but the clients okay very good so yes this is a very important thing to analyze about your competitors so it's something very important and this is uh, the one that presents here is something that I believe everybody knows. Uh, that is the SWOT analysis. It's something that we yes. call in Spanish. Uh, Foda. Foda, very good. So that will be it. So let's check about that one, okay? Uh, let's check some vocabulary for first of all. Uh, let's see, market improve. Uh, your outreach. What is outreach? Mm. Mm. Outreach to potential so how how far you can identify your your outreach to persons okay. is alcance. Okay, in English. <laughs> in English. <laughs> so but that is it. I mean, 
is the way I that you are going. I need to start thinking. I need to start thinking in English. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is something very important. You know, when you do that one, it's going to be a very good improvement. Uh, let's see what else. Outreach. A forecast. What is a forecast? And forecast industry. Forecast is a pronos to in advance to to prono a pronostic. Uh, forecast to forecast is forecast. Uh -huh. to forecast is like when you to say like... in advance to identify it in advance before it occur. Very good, very good. That is it. Uh, let's see. Okay, we know what is short by now. Yes, quadrants four quadrants, as you say. So, Thanks. the first one is the strength. What is the strength? This is the characteristic made your business strong that you are very good at. Very good. So that is the first one, strong, where you identify the areas where your business is doing well. And yes, doing well. Uh, that is a very good question that you can ask yourself. How can I do what they do, but better, right? Be innovative or anything like that. So, yeah, that is the first one. The second one is the opposite. What is weaknesses? It's what you do not well. <laughs> exactly. So what problems does? Uh -huh. Yes. Or, so or you know, it is, it is very nice explained there. Uh, you, you need to be honestly with you and you need to recognize what customer dislike from your business or services you right. offer. Very good. So that is it. The problem here is that we need to be honest, right? Sometimes yes. we don't want to see or we don't want to say the weaknesses that we have. That's why, for example, in interviews, in job interviews, uh, that is a very common question. What are your weaknesses? Because weaknesses. you have to say something, right? So yes. that would be. What is when the... I, I think it's very important that uh, you always have to, uh, to think that uh, strengths and weaknesses are internal and opportunities and threats are external. Very good. That is it. Uh, what is complain? You express that you, the things that you don't like. Very good. When you don't like something and you express that feeling, right? Good. Uh, let's see. What is to narrow? This narrow, 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 that Something was... that flows. <laughs> exactly. Very good. Nice. Um, uh, let's see. Opportunities, you know, that those are, as you say, external, right? We don't have anything here. And threats, that is also uh, the negative, but the external. Uh -huh. What is seasonal? Uh, seasonal, very good. Anybody? Uh, what is seasonal? No, no, all the time is a court. It it is only from time to time. Yeah. Uh, maybe summer events, winter events, uh, spring event. That is it. So for for example, speaking about businesses, uh, Black Friday is uh, seasonal. Yes, a seasonal event. Yes. Yeah. Or Hokote is hitting a salary season as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Threats. There are uh, surpasser man outreach over there. What is a fluctuation? When something is up and down, then it's down. Very good. 
So when a trend is changes, that much. yeah, yes, changes. changes in a trend, changes yeah. in the trends. Very good, perfect. Uh, Very Eric, good. Eric, I have some doubt here with outreach because I am looking at at the at the dictionary and mm -hmm. they mean that uh, it is like it's more like to beat or pass okay. over beer. And and it doesn't pass with this. Yeah, to overcome. Meaning, it will to be... overcome. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, to overcome. Yes. Yeah, that will be it. So okay. depending, remember that that is the meaning, but sometimes depending on the context, it might change, right? Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, also here, I will be sending you this link tomorrow. You will be able to download an English template for the SWOT. That okay. is in Spanish, this this. For all right, uh, brand your business. This is something very important. It's going to be for let's see, Edwin Alexander. Brand your business. Building a brand for your startup is such as important part of the starting of a uh, business. In a not held. Branding is about creating a consistent voice, identity, 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 a values mm -hmm. for your identity and values for your company and everything that goes into it, such as logos, websites, products, or servers, service, and more. This helps your business stand out in uh, Saturday, sa stand out in out, out in a sad Saturday <laughs> Saturday market, right? Yeah. And build this recognition among your target audience. Here are some of the most important branding assets to consider: business logo. Your logo will be one of the most memorable memorable parts of your business as the fake as the face of your company it needs to truly represent you and your values when you create your own logo right. make right. it unique right. identifiable and use image and colors that convey the right messages or feeling to your audience Okay, uh, business business card. In a digital age, why do we still need a business card? Well, it's, it's still faster to hand someone a business card than an email. Then your d details, that is in mobility and access accessibility in which you can transmit valuable information on paper is an auction you want around in any scenario. When creating business card using a business card marker, you also get everything you need to further develop your own brand. You can customize the font, colors, and image, giving you a full control over the over your business card design. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Well, it's a lot of information, teacher. But what I do understand is that for your brand, for your business, you always need a logo, like like every uh, business or company has. For example, uh, big companies like Coca Cola and Pepsi has the logo, and the colors represent uh, the business too because color are very important. Like, for example. Pepsi is blue, Coca-Cola is, is red, Pollo Campero is orange, you know, colors represent that. So the logo of the of the of the of the company it's very important at the time that you are going to represent your product. Very good. So yeah, when mm -hmm. you have a very good name about the company, you need to brand the business, right? Sometimes, awesome. you know, sometimes it's very easy. I mean, for example, if you check about the Nike logo, that is very simple, right? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a big thing, uh, but it has to represent that one. Nowadays, if you see that logo, the Nike logo, you know that it's Nike. I mean, 
you don't have to research about that one. They sell by itself. Business cards is also another good idea because, I mean, uh, yeah, you are in a meeting or you meet somebody that is interesting or interested in your business, you just give the card and that's it, right? They will be able to contact you back. So there are many ways for you to brand the, the company. Good. Um, hey, let me check if there are some words here. I don't think so. Okay, this is a good one. In a nutshell, this is an expression. What is that? Yeah, that was I was going to ask you. I, I don't understand the word. Hey, anybody knows what is in a nutshell? It's like a, a phrase of words. A few Sounds words. Like a few words. Uh -huh. Yeah, so in, in a, a summary, right? In in uh -huh. something like that one. Very good. A shirt, huh? I think. Yeah, in a uh -huh, in a nutshell. So very mm -hmm. good. Let me see what is something that is saturated. What is that? Too much of one thing. Very good. Too saturated. many elements. Too many elements that not that doesn't combine with that uh, with himself. Very good. Perfect. Um, I don't think that our. Oh, well. Combi, what is to combi? Combi. Uh, use my, that combi, the right message. That combi. It shouldn't identify or use or messaging for that combi, the right message. Combi to uh, that achieve? That mm -hmm. achieve a, a combi. Right combi. To, commu to communicate. To communicate, very good. Uh -huh. To tell but something. To communicate the right it's, message. It's or feel feeling. Feeling. Very good. That is it. So combi is when you transmit a message, right? Okay. Good. Uh, Transport or carry uh -huh. to place. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Make an idea on the step one. Good. So let's check about number 11, major business official, Alejandra Michelle. Not possible. Okay, uh, um, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Major business official. Before you take your business out into the world, you also need to complete all the uh, legal and formal paper, paperwork. <coughs> if you're as establishing establishing is correct yeah establishing establishing a uh, business in the U usa your location and business structure will determine the steps the steps your need to take to register a business name keep in mind that the benefits of register registering is correct yeah registering registering your business include personal liability 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 liability, liability. okay protection uh, legal and trademark protection and tax benefits all of which are crucial to the prosperity and expansion of any entrepreneurial operation. Meanwhile, for those for who are seeking to set up a business in the UK or EU, UI. EU. It you, it's essential to familiarize, familiarize yourself, familiarize yourself with the different requirement, requirement. requirements and rules for uh, registering a business, a relevant certification, and but VAT. VAT. Okay, what did you uh, understand on this one? 
and the importance to register in the in the platform for um and and it's important uh, because um for expensive and enjoy uh, the 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 benefits very so, good you're okay. welcome so that is it i mean uh yeah you need to make everything legal when you decide everything that is going to happen you just need to go and do the papers uh, for the government in this case is the u.s but we have to do it here in the el salvador so everything goes well right so that is a very yes. important part of yes. legalizing your business okay yes perfect thank you okay uh, let me check uh this is not for us let me just check mm, this is very important set up an accounting system uh mario villeda Not possible. Let's see. Uh, Adriana Stephanie. Not possible either. Let's see. Maria Elena. What did you understand on this one? So yes, uh, this is one of the most important things because accounting is going to be the control that you have over the financial life of your business, right? So we need to to understand how it's going to be the system, how it's going to be the whole thing. Of course, we need a specialist uh, so we can bring this to life and have the control that we need. And not only about the accounting system, but also we need internal and external auditors. 
So everything goes well and everything is transparent. Good, perfect. And uh, I guess this is the last one. Uh, two more. Uh, building a team, Wendy Maribel. Okay. Building a team. Sorry. Unless you plan to be a team of one, you're most likely going to want to, want to bring in a business partner. After all, having another person to bounce bounce ideas or all of all will help you along the way. Look for a partner with strength that completes you in order to fill in the missing pieces of the puzzle. What? Pieces. Pieces of the puzzle. The same concept can be applied to employees unless you have a very small scale business and want to be a solopreneur. It's going to be quite difficult for you to play multi multiple roles. This include being an accountant, health or marketing, software engineer, and so many other important positions. Even if you decide not to hear in house, to hire. you may find sorry? to hire, hire in house. Uh -huh. To hire in house you may find yourself needing, ex needing extra assistance from a freelancer or independent contractor. Our human resource, resource guide. Guide. Goal, sir? Guide. Guide. Guide goes more in depth in depth to cover hiring and human resources process. In addition, mergers and acquisitions acquisitions. Acquis huh? Acquisitions. Acquisitions. Acquisitions is another rule you may choose to go by acquiring, acquiring acquiring another business you will autom automatically automatically gain new employees you want you will just to need make sure the two staff combine as seamlessly as possible. When you begin the hiring process, it's important to factor in your values, needs, and the company culture. You want to portray creating a well-defined, a well Sorry, define mm -hmm. vision statement in in all in ordering outlining. your business outlining your business goal goal ahead of time will help you hire hire the right people to fulfill them. Okay, what did you understand? Um, the resource, the resource, the um, human resource 
in uh, the the positions the positions compare compare with other other things I don't remember a cloud no I don't remember term and the first the first part compare Compare with the puzzle. Okay. And the the result and the the position in compared with with the the pieces of the puzzle. Very good. So this is something that also is very important. Once you decide to move on and create the the uh, company you need to have the best people in your team right so everything goes well that is a must definitely good let me check if there are some vocabulary here team going bring uh, okay what is a puzzle all the pieces in order Okay, so it's like like a riddle, right? That you have there and you put together in many ways. Good. Uh, let's see. What is a solopreneur? One entrepreneur, a solopreneur. Very good. Alone, right? Alone. Very good. What is the higher in house? Higher, even if you decide not to hire in house, it's just something from freelancer. Okay, uh, higher in house means that. You are going to hire people to be with you inside of the company. So some people, they prefer to do outsourcing or to get some independent contractors uh, okay. or freelancers, something like that. Okay. Okay, let's see what else. <laughs> it, you, could, you, could say, you could say now a presential job. <laughs> yeah. With, an, with uh, a schedule from eight <laughs> hours. <laughs> <laughs> That is so true. Let me see. I don't see any other. Outlining. What is outlining? Outlining is like describing in very detail. Outlining. Very good. In detail. Very nice. In detail. Okay, last one. Market your business. Let's see who has some red. I guess everybody read right. Rosalina. Okay, market your business. Once you launch your business and publish your website, you can start building a small businesses. Business marketing strategy that pulls business growth. Staying on top of the latest technology trends and implementing them into your own business will also promote scalability and keep your business relevant. A strong marketing plan will allow you to attract potential customers, generate leads, and make sales. Here are some here are some of the most common marketing strategies to consider. Social media marketing. With so many consumers on social media today, it's not even a question of whether to jump about yourself. Marketing on social media brings you massive exposure to oh, sure. diverse nice. groups of people. From Facebook and Instagram to Twitter and LinkedIn, LinkedIn, Oh my God. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah. Simply pick a platform that your target audience is active on 
hand that serves the needs of your business. Email marketing and CRM. A highly effective tactic email marketing can promote your brand and build engagement. Using this method, you can reach customers directly, build a loyalty program, and customize messages based on their individual interest. Your, your emails can come in the form of newsletters, email blasts, and automated responses to predefined user actions. Content marketing. This involves crafting and sharing valuable and relevant content in order to draw in your target audience. It can be done in a variety of ways, including publishing and maintaining a blog or creating a postcard or YouTube channel. Use any of these outlets to share business updates, distribute relevant industry-related news, and build connections with potential customers. Today, people want businesses to be relatable, relatable and which they can actively engage with on a regular basis. Good, perfect. What did you understand on this? In a few words, uh, the social media is, uh, is the is the best way to to launch and publish uh, the business uh, sending sending emails uh, uh, can't you uh, yeah. send me send, uh -huh, send emails um, for example when you when you get into a patient and they ask you, do you want to subscribe? If I put yes, every day they launch me publicity. Mm -hmm. I think that the social media is the best way to, okay. to make the, the business. Very perfect. So that is very important. I mean, uh, market your business so you can reach the market that you want to. Definitely. I mean, once you have everything, you have the team, you have the brand, you have the logo, then you have to jump into that one, right? And do what you have to do. So that is a very important thing. And I think it is also a, not not less important, this is CRM um, system, you know, the customer relationships management, because uh, it is a technology that supports you from the very beginning to manage the relationships with your customer, existing or potential customers, you know? And it is very nice because you can learn a lot of this uh, monitoring, this uh, consistency monitoring of your customers. Okay, very good. So there you are so right. So there are different ways that you need to analyze depending on the business that you have and how you want to handle the marketing. Uh, there are different campaigns or different things that you can launch. Of course, at this point, you uh, have the idea, but also you have a business plan and you have invested in the money. So this is like the, the first touch point uh, from your company to the public in general, right? Yes. Very good. Perfect. So do you have any questions before we finish? Good. That is fine. And remember that for Friday, we have two homeworks. The first one is the usual one. That is to bring two or three words and explain the words and provide examples. And the other one is bring and tell. You are going to bring something, an object or a picture of a place or a person or anything like that and explain what is that and why this is important for you. So that will be on Friday, not tomorrow, but we're very close. So I guess you have already the idea on what to do. Right? I want to listen to that one. That is going to be very, very interesting. <laughs> okay, my friends. So um, let's check about the attendance. Remember also to continue moving on the um, 
on the platform, right? Uh, this is the second week. Uh, next uh, week is the third one. By the end of the next week, not this week, but the end of the next week, we have to do also the midterm test, okay? But we still have time, so no worries on that. So let me check the attendance then. Let's see. Ah, Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Ana Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ana Selmi Chavez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Aldames. Here. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. Eh, María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present Good. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Present Thank you. Uh, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Have and a good night. Good night. Good night. Night. Entonces, ¿cómo dices? Vamos a hablar.